Hi everyone, this is Kevin here from the CAM team at Autodesk. With today's HSM toolpath tip, we are covering how to use a containment boundary to gain more toolpath control. In this example, I have created a 3D adaptive clearing and rest machining operations that removes most of the rough stock material. If I create a parallel toolpath that will finish the top surfaces of this part, you'll notice it applies itself to all of the faces. Considering the features on this model, I may decide to use a different finishing strategy to focus on the adjacent sloping surfaces. Now, the HSM toolpath tip. How to use a containment boundary to gain more toolpath control. By moving into the geometry tab, we can change the machining boundary from silhouette to a selection. This selection allows us to contain toolpaths within a region specified by a selected boundary. To understand this better, try pausing the mouse pointer over this field and viewing the quick tip flyout. We can now select these two edge profiles to define our new containment boundary. This updated toolpath keeps the tool on the top exterior surfaces only. With giving you an added pro tip of the day, we can easily change this pass direction to 90 degrees to give us a different result that may be more suitable for its application. By simulating once more, we can see these new toolpath directions. Thank you everyone for watching this HSM toolpath tip. It's that easy with integrated CAM inside of HSM Works.